All right, while working on this, I felt that I needed to just update my nail. It got a little bit too thick when I did the vintage look. And everything else kind of has that geometric look to it. So I wanted to add that to this nail. So we're going to go through the glitters right now. The reason I'm doing that is I'm not quite sure which one is going to look right for the nail. And I want to work with the others just so that I have some blending throughout the whole thing. So I'm definitely going to go with poppy seed. Now I haven't done my pinky one yet. I should say I haven't edited the video yet. So you'll see that in a little bit. I'm using the poppy seed which I used on my pinky nail. I'm going to use the stripey brush by Light Elegance. And I'm going to block in, I'm not going to worry about outlining it or anything. I'm going to use that glitter and block in an area on creating that same angle that I did with my middle finger on this one. So I'm actually going to cover one whole side. And by all means, please, Go ahead and put this to full screen. If I went any closer, I was afraid that this was going to get too blurry. And I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So if you go to full screen, I made sure there's no blur. I'm using the block brush to blend everything out so that I get it all the way down to the sides. That cured for 30 seconds. And I'm liking how it looks so far with that blue. So this image is kind of what I want to go for. I'm not worrying about the bottom. I want to work on the top where I have the flowers. It's not going to look exactly like it, but that's the inspiration. I'm using the Light Elegance Black Gel Paint. And again, this stripey brush. And I am going to start making those lines that divide the roses. Like in that image I showed you, um, the roses ha are in set in lines. Well, when I created this image, they weren't in lines. I just put them randomly on the nail. So I need to really look at it, choose where I want to put the lines and any other part of the design so that it works together. So now I'm going to just add in a few little lines while I think about how I want to create this design. I like that. It's kind of like um, when I did the ladder effect on the thumb. Went ahead and cured that for a 10 second cure. And now I'm going to I think I'm going to go ahead and make my, uh, drag my lines through. I'm trying to also lay out the design uh, in my mind while I'm looking at this. So let me go ahead and get this line in. And I'm not doing them very thick because I don't want them to overpower the flowers and have them disappear. 10 second cure on that one. And instead of doing lines throughout, kind of trying to make it look like the middle finger, I'm going to do lines at the very tip. Again, my nails are shaped in the lipstick shape, so I've got one side that's going to be longer than the other. I need to accommodate. So I'm separating like I did on my thumbnail the areas that I want defined as color blocking. And I think I've made up my mind also on the, the not the colors, but the glitters that I'm going to use. Because I have the blue so prominent in here, and I don't want to take away from the, um, the pink of the flowers, I want to go ahead and use the paprika as the thin lines. And it's, it, they're so, even though they're glitter, they're so opaque 
that I really don't need to put down a base color. They're going to take care of it on their own. And, the, and the, the glitter is so fine. It's just beautiful. And then in between, I'm going to use the same colors, um, Shake Your Salt Shaker, that I used on my thumb to put into the larger block areas. So let me put the paprika away and grab the salt shaker. Um, sorry, wanted to touch up that line real quick. It was driving me nuts. Did another 10-second um, cure, and here is Shake Your Salt Shaker. And remember when I did the video for the thumb, I said that this glitter is not really nude, not really pink, but not really salmon, that it works with everything. This here shows you it is completely different color-wise to the my index finger, to what I did on my thumb, to what I've done on my middle finger, even on my pinky. And yet it still works. Love this glitter. It's like the um, neutral of the glitter world, except for, you know, there's no white in it. Now, I, I really see curve my nails, so I wanted to make sure that that um, flowed over nicely. Now, I went ahead and cured all of this for 30 seconds, because I just was doing so many flash cures. And now I'm going to go back over those defining lines. They were very, very subtle, and I think I really would like them to be a little bit thicker. I'm going to do a double line here, there in the center, since I have no colors in that area, just again to add to the look so it matches and works with the two middle lines on my middle finger. Just as I've done with the other nails, I'm going to reseal this with the Jimmy Gel and even it all out, balance it all out so I don't have any odd shapes or warp looking fingernail, like I grew out wrong. And I don't need to put a lot, it's just enough to balance it and even out those edges. Now before I started, what I did not show you is that I did actually file the top of this nail. Um, I did that so that I could put all of this work in there and it would, it would look right. Because you see here, after filing it this time, um, it's not very thick. I took that down easily. I'm going to top coat it here with a super shiny. I hope this helped you with figuring out how to update if you do a backfill and you don't do a, um, a design change or you want to just do something small. A little bit goes a long way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.